Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. First of all, to begin, don't forget, good news, you are done with the previous domain. We are moving on to fractions, decimals, and percentages. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not forget to make this an extra big special title in your notes. This is an entire other section. Do whatever you want to do. If you want to do this taking up the whole page, do it. If you want to do this and then fold over your paper in some way or cut it with the title, do it. If you want to do the title and then draw the background in a different color, do it. But make sure this is special in your notes. Moving on. Converting decimals to fractions. Hmm. Decimals to fractions. Let's make it as simple as we can. Let's say you have a decimal, 0. 0.45. 45, right? And you want to make that into a fraction. Here's how you do it. How many um, digits are after the decimal point? After the decimal point, you have one, two digits, right? Do a fraction bar. Put two zeros for each one of the two digits. Write a one in front of it. And then take your number and write it. It's that simple. Let's do another example. Let's say, remember you can pause the video and go back. Let's say that you have 0 0.786 and you want to make that into a fraction. Do the fraction bar. 786 goes on top. Okay. Now, after your decimal point, how many digits do you have? One, two, three. So you put in three zeros and a one. You're done. That's your fraction. Let's do another example. Let's say that I have 0 0.5 and I want to make it a fraction fraction bar you write your 5 now after the decimal point you have one digit so you have one zero add a one you're done now let's give you a somewhat complex one it's really not difficult let's say I give you 0 0.045 now in this case fraction bar you have after the decimal point one two three digits one, two, three zeros, and you write the one. Just because this is a zero doesn't mean you're not going to count it. Okay? It does count. However, when, I'm so sorry, when you are writing the number that goes as your numerator on top of your fraction, just write 45. There's no need to put 0, 45. You can just put 45. Okay? Good luck. The next two Khan Academy assignments are based on this. I think you can do it fairly easily and fairly quickly.